It's a great pleasure today to have a chat with Ryan Stramrud, who is an ice swimmer. Ryan, first of all, how do you get into ice swimming? Well, it's a journey. You certainly don't uh, wake up one day and, and decide you want to be an ice swimmer. Um, but, you know, living down in the Cape, um, the waters surrounding us, that we, you know, the oceans are, are pretty cold. Um, so you, you start to do different challenges down there just in the oceans, um, like swimming from Robben Island to Bloberg Beach. And uh, it, it soon dawned on me just what a massive impact the cold has on the body, but more importantly on the mind. Um, how it makes you negative, how it impacts uh, everything inside you. The Robben Island swim is very well known in South Africa and, and because of the history of Robben Island is something a lot of people want to do. But you have done it 61 times, including you've become the first person to swim there, stay overnight and come back. What is so special about that swim for you to do it so many times? Well, it is an amazing swim. You know, swimming, you usually swim from, uh, uh, you, you get a boat out to the island and you swim back to Bloberg Beach or to Three Anchor Bay, which, you know, Bloberg is 7.3 kilometers. Three Anchor Bay is a little bit longer, about 10 and a half kilometers. Um, and it's a really special swim. You swim in, literally in the shadow of Table Mountain and uh, you really are out in the, in the wild ocean. And the Robben Island swim is a difficult swim. The water is cold. Uh, it's, it's about the cold. Any swimmer can train yourself to, to get that distance, the 7.3 kilometer distance, that's not the hard part. Uh, the hard part is handling the cold. Uh, what are some of the most more extreme places you've gone in swimming? What sort of temperatures are you swimming in? Well, we, we've been to, to some, some uh, weird and wonderful places, some of the most uh, remote places on this planet as well. Um, but the most extreme for me has been uh, Russia or Siberia, a place called Tumin, Siberia, which was one of the it took me from a massive leap from doing extreme cold uh, right into the, the ice swimming, which is defined as uh, five degrees Celsius or it was, uh, down to zero degrees. Um, and two men arriving there, the air temperature was minus 33 degrees Celsius, and the pool that we were going to swim in um, was cut straight from a frozen lake and the water was uh, you know, literally freezing before our eyes at, at 0 0.1, 0 0.2 degrees. So if people want to find out more about ice swimming, how do they do that? Yeah, ice swimming, uh, there, there's an organization called the International Ice Swimming Association founded by Ram Kai, his vision and uh, it's, it's his baby. I'm a founding member. I've helped a lot to, uh, to shape the sport and to grow it and I'm very much involved. And what the International Ice Swimming Association does it's actually defined and uh, and recorded ice swim so we've said right what is an ice swim you know you can go and jump in a in a patch of, of cold water and say that was an ice swim because there's one uh, ice block we said no you need to find an outdoor body of water that is five degrees Celsius or less wearing only a speedo type costume um, one cap and a pair of goggles, no wetsuit, no grease, nothing. And you have to swim a one mile distance, so 1,609 meters. Then you can claim to have done an official ice mile.